Alright people, welcome back. More about me why. So today is Friday, that means that we're using Cosmic Email. And we might be experiencing some changes. I already talked about how I'm not the biggest fan of Gradle Ubell right now. I don't know, I'm very... It seems like decks on Vitamin Y are very combo-centric, and that deck is just so passive. It's just like, yeah, kill my monster, take yours, ooh, you know? And, I don't know, I just, I'm not really the biggest fan of it right now, so there's a pretty good chance that I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. Maybe move this deck back over to, uh, Thursday, and then hopefully be able to put Super Vice on, uh, Friday. I want to play Rota just to deck then. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. But, I don't want to reveal too much of my deck. It's definitely not something I want to do right now. You know, I'm fine with this deck, I'm fine with Evel Archfiends, I'm fine with, even if it's all Evel, I'm fine with, but... Great old Evel? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not liking that deck. It's not combo-centric. I'm not, what combos, I mean, am I really doing? No, the, the, the most combo thing I'm doing is with Slime, and even that, I'm not really comboing it that often. You know, when's the last time I pulled off Slime? Not often. Okay. So, he's gonna go ahead and switch to summon his gigit, his gimmick puppet set. Your opponent controls a monster, and all monsters you control. Give me a puppet, you can touch them in this card from your hand. Alright. Oh, and he's got another one, too. Okay. This card cannot be summoned deck. Once turn, you can target one, give me a puppet, monster you control. Except this one, this card becomes that level, so. Yep. So he got three level eights. Damn. And it doesn't even say that he can't. It, he can only see into a gimmick puppet. Like, neither, none of them say that, so he could literally just go into a Felgram right now. And going into a Felgram is something that I am not prepared to deal with. Actually, yeah, I am, because I just... And actually, no. The gate effect is unaffected by card effect till what, the end of the turn, right? Yeah. That would suck. Cause I, I could easily just go into a, a Black Rose, but, you know, he'll, of course, just chain on himself. Unless I could try to bait him, I can go Mass Chameleon. So, mm, that's a tough one. Well, of course I'm going to float off of this. He's going to kill me, I'm going to float. So, depending on who I summon. Oh, wow. All three of them. Hmm, I have no idea who you're going into then. Are you going into that one guy who tries to win with a win condition? That, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Yeah, Leo. I was thinking, I was like, is it Leo, right? What turn if you have no special because you touch it to replace one. Destiny counter, cannot crack your face. When you have three destiny counters, you win the duel. Okay. But he can't detach an Xeem material from this card. Let's return if you have no Xeem material. You can detach an Xeem material from this card if you do place one destiny counter on this card. You cannot crack your battle face. Can you activate this? Okay. I don't know where you're going with that, especially since you said back row, unless that back row is something to uh bait me. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna just throw, go ahead and throw the dark hole at you. Like I said, unless these are chainable back rows that you could play before you resolve this effect. Hmm. Eh, fuck it. Guess we'll find out. Dark hole. I'd rather just go ahead and get rid of you. I don't even feel like dealing with you. It's just like you have to have no background. You have to have no spells and traps to resolve that effect. So I don't know where you're going with that. Dark Cole, of course, one of the best cards that you can play in Ying Zing. You, but you guys already knew that. Um, think about maybe summoning Solani. No, wait. It has to be in defense mode. Wait, it has to be in defense mode. Forgot about that. It has to be in defense mode. So if it has to be in defense mode, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go ahead and summon uh, not Zephra. <laughs> Let's go ahead and summon not Zephra. I'm thinking about Zephyr just because I would like I like Path. I mean I like Creation. I already have Path. I like Creation, but when it dies, the problem with my with Zephyr, in my opinion, is that it goes back to the extra deck. Like that's a that's a no no. But it does have a big old booty, like 26 booty, slamming it down. Like oh my god. Not oh, fuck it. Sure, let's go Zephyr. Oh okay. Well you have to win you. Warning the monster in grave, not the, the summon. So, I'm put this back in my deck. Yeah, because it's a trigger effect. Okay, or you could just quit. This is a trigger effect. So, when I, su when I go, be on effect to summon a Yang Zing, you go warning. It's not, oh, 
summon the monster. Oh, warning. Like, no, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. You warning this the monster summoning, not to summon another monster on a trigger summon. But hey, and my opponent wants to just be a scrub and quit. I mean, he was trying to fucking attack me with a fucking terrible win condition card anyway, so you can just go ahead and be a scrub. <laughs> but I don't want no scrubs, because the scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Anybody know where I got that from? The song, the group who sung it, really old song. Very popular in its time. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, he can just go ahead and scoop it up. Mmm. I'm not even sure if I run, I mean, one arm, I don't know I run, arm, one arm again, knight, one Yubel, one Rota. I'm not even sure if I run a safekeeping dark graph in this deck, I can't remember if I do. Can't remember if I do, but, yeah. Nice majority of my hand right now, 60% of my hand is fucking a number generator. That, that, that's crazy. <laughs> but, hand's not bad. I'm not gonna get much use out of arm again, knight, or Yubel, though. Sure. Just not the biggest fan of Great Oyu Bell. I, I, I liked it. If it was straight up just a Snatch Still deck, I wouldn't play it. But then I was like, oh, well, it has Synchro mechanics. And I like Synchroing. Yeah. I like Synchroing, especially with Yu Bell. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And then little did I know, the more I played it, the more I'm like, this isn't. I mean, I'm rarely pulling out Synchro. The majority of the time, I'm just slowly just taking my opponent's monsters. Either I, they outpass pace me and I lose, or I just take their monsters and beat the shadow them and they lose. Or they lose, you know? It's not really fun. So. I'll probably just go ahead and take that deck off. Hopefully, you know, survive as well enough. You can just cut this card to add two level four light thunder rosters with 1600 less attack or in debt. You only use this effect once per turn and you cannot conduct. Yeah, okay, okay. I mean, no, you can't special summon during the turn you activate this. Alright, so hunters, I'm assuming. Can it add itself? It is a level 4 Light Thunder Monster 1600. Same name. You only use the effect of Thunder Seahorse once per turn. I guess you can add two of the two the other two Thunder Seahorses that have been there in your deck. You just can't activate their effects. Because you can't activate Thunder Seahorse effect once per turn. Yep, it is Hunters. Rank 4 deck that kind of just fell off. To say the least. Yeah. The only person I see play hunters anymore is Renny. <laughs> it, it, it was the rank four deck. It used to you know, we all know rank fours. They are good, they are power, but so I mean you can still normal summon. Maybe summon T King. Alright. You can summon Paw. You can get Paw's effect. You go ahead and summon a level 4 Thunder Monster from your hand, except for Paw. So I can just normal summon. You just can't XC. Yep. Summon Maw. I have a feeling that this guy's gonna quit because he's gonna fuck up. He's gonna try to XC, and I'm gonna be like, no, I can't XC. Yep. You can summon Maw. You want to get Maw effect? Yep. As long as it's not Maw. It can be another Paw if you want it to be. Sis? Yeah, you can do Sis. Just normal summon, you can go ahead and target it. one, banish it, and get it back to your hand during the end phase. So yes, you can do that. Got the whole family. Because there's no brother for some reason. I think there's one in the manga, but... It just never made it in the card game. It's weird. And during your end phase, you go ahead and add that card back to your hand. Sure. So I guess you're done. Yep. Alright. Like I said, I don't even think I run the Dark Reffer. So I don't even think I can activate and resolve the Rota. Because I think I just play, run the Armageddon Knight. You should probably fix that and at least run the Dark Reffer. I mean, if I can activate it and I can check my deck. The only problem is if I activate it and I don't have a target, I gotta pretty much reveal my my opponent. And I really, for the love of God, for me, cannot remember off the top of my mind whether I run the freaking uh, uh, the dark Reffer or not. 
I can't remember for the love of God. So, is it really worth it running it in the reveal of my deck? I mean, I'm going to summon Solani this turn anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and say fuck it. Fuck it. Let's see if I run the Dark Graffer. Hopefully I do. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Nope. Nope. I don't. Alright. Well, that's a game. No, no, no. I shut my hand. Shut my deck. <laughs> So, running to the classic Yubel problem right here. Because sending Yubel to the graveyard would actually be pretty good, especially in reverse, but I'm in reverse. I'm really not doing much. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and summon Sawani and attack, and then he'll probably go ahead and cast Stell Me. Then I'll probably end up losing this duel. Hmm. Let's run you to know. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, you're not really doing much. Wait, you are. And this card is not summoned now. Once we turn, you can. Once we turn, you can. No, he has another Maw, so I guess I want to kill. So it really doesn't matter. I guess I'll kill the Paul. No, my luck, he'll probably have the Honest, so. so. It is not looking good for me right now. Like, not at all, not at all. I'm, a little, I'm just a little bit too slow for this duel, especially with the power of Rank Force. You can simply just XC those two into a castell and handle my ass. Or you could do that. I can't even chain anything. I don't even got anything. Just too slow. I'd be lucky if he goes into Paladin, no, but Castell would just be the best choice. Let's go ahead and spin my Yang Zing monster back to my deck. I got Yubel in my hand that's dead. I got Armageddon in my head this hand that's pretty dead. Maybe I should have just went Armageddon and now you send uh, Gia and then settle in reverse. Then when, but I didn't predict that he's going to have the Galaxy Cyclone. I can't predict that. But I, I guess I should have assumed that he had some sort of MST. I could have went Chain and then Summoned. Ah, hindsight's 20 20. Like I said, if he goes ahead and puts this back in my fucking deck, then I'm pretty much done. I'm pretty much done because I'm going to get outpaced. Now you're just gonna summon Maw Hunter and XC. With all three of them. Interesting. Well, at least I don't have to worry about Shockmaster, right? Hmm. Maybe you wanna wait? So, when I activate a monster effect during the battle phase, you can go ahead and negate me and then flick 800. I don't know, maybe Delta Ross? Hmm, okay. This so may have an effect detection, Circulus, draw all, monster, all other face up monsters in the field. Yeah. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and destroy me with your Thunder Spark. I don't really care about that. Like that really wasn't the best of choice in my opinion. Cause I'm gonna float like a boat. Do I summon a monster in defense position? You know what? Fuck it. I'm thinking about just summoning you. No, no, because I can go into hot. And hot can handle the situation just fine. You know what? Think about maybe summoning Bixie, and then Bixie will float. I want to summon. I want to summon you, but then I can't summon you, and I want you to handle the situation with you. Yeah. I have a plan. I have an idea. At least go for Goyo Guardian. All I have to do is summon G -G 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 Gia. Oh, that's in Tech Map. Yeah, it's the next turn summon Armageddon Knight. I'm probably not going to send. Just go into Goyo and run over the fucking Thunder Spark. Alright, Regeki ain't going to do much. Save the Mask Chameleon. Actually, you know, instead of summoning Bixie, I probably should have summoned uh, Beyon. Yeah, should have went Beyon. Then at least I could have got set up with. Uh... So I guess I'll go ahead and summon the Form of Bell. I'm getting any revival. Your Earth, right? Yeah. 
go ahead and send some nightmare, why not? Some gross shotgun in the Goya. Because why not? Goyo, go ahead and take them. Despite all the new Goyo cards, I still feel like Goyo Guardian's the best. That 20, it's, just, it's just 28, you know, they're trying to make the whole uh, Goyo Guardian archetype and shit like that, but that 20 is too strong. <laughs> I'll go ahead. So, if shit hits the fan, I can always just go Mass Chameleon and summon back. I can always go into Hot. I can go into Baxia to handle situations. It's not terrible. I got the Regeki. It's just... Ubel is essentially just stuck in my hand. I'm going to myself go ahead and put the Dark Graffer back in here. Yeah. We have a couple of Darks. Even if I fucking... I'd rather have them than not have them. And right now, I would rather have them. I'd rather... I'm, straight up, I wish my play was... Rota, search for Dark Graffer, Dark Graffer, pitch Ubel, and send, uh... Whatever, and then have that limit reverse, because then when you went Galaxy Cyclone, chain tear. I could have had tear on the field right now. Actually, I could probably would have had Ultimate Nightmare depending on what he would he would have done. Wow, he's actually going to do the Thunder Sea Force play right now. All right. So I can't special summon this turn. So at least I don't have to worry about Exiton or Castell or 101 or none of that. 101 would be great right now. Take my Goyo, attack over your uh, Thunder Spark, kill it. Right now, you're pretty much asking for me to smack you in the face for a nice chunk of your life points. Has to be the same name. You got two paws, two paws. Uh, it depends on how many sits you run. You got two more sis. I don't know your deck. Yeah, so paw or sis at this point. Can't get Ma. Going into this was kind of like I said. I would have cast out me. I went detach two, put that back in your deck, and now I don't have to worry about your Zeng Yang Zing's floating or nothing. And I've been like, oh damn, oh man, I probably would have lost. <laughs> and the deck would have been shuffled, so I might have not got Regaki. Okay. Or well, you can get Battery Man AAA. That's fine. I mean, if you summon, you can't summon, so. But you can add any what I'm mad at. A Revival. So I'm just gonna take Duel Slow. I'm not in a hurry at all. So the other Goyos are interesting just because you can summon the monster in attack position and then also attack with them. A Goyo Guardian seems in defense mode, of course. Can't change its battle position. Go ahead. So now, if you go ahead and pop my back row, I can go ahead and chain summon and then summon another Ying Zing. So, yay, revival. Even Ying Zing Path wouldn't be bad right now. Got three Ying Zing. I'll go ahead and put them back, draw two more cards, fucking Pot of Greed. Hell yeah. I'm just worried about clogging with that card a little bit more than a regular Yang Zing deck because I like to use Revival, you know. So, I generally like to go ahead and revive my Yang Zings out of the graveyard. So, putting the back of my deck kind of hinders that. I think I need to do is just go past, return those three, then have no more Yang Zings in my graveyard. And Revival cards are kind of dead. I mean, what am I going to do? Summon Armageddon Knight? Like, what the fuck is that going to do? Yeah, I would not be surprised if he just goes summon summon. And maybe Exiton who's up on resources. If he goes summon summon to Exiton, I'm up on resources. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well he'd have summon summon XC, he'd have one, two, three, four, five. But at least he'd be wiping his back row. And you know what? That's all I care about. You wanna get wipe your own back row? Sure. Even though at this point it doesn't seem like your back row's really hindering me. You know, because at this point if it was a mirror force, I would have played it. If it was bottomless, I'm not sure, so Yep. So, better man AAA. You know, it's effect. I'm gonna say K. I'm gonna summon another one. Castell won't save you. Exiton will save you. But you gotta, you gotta give up your back row. One of one won't save you because both of them can get over that. Okay, I guess you don't want to summon your AAA. So I do not care. Okay, okay. So you're gonna go paw then summon. 
battery man, and then summon battery man, then XE maybe into another thunder spark, maybe a baby, I don't know. Pick it up. It's all good. It's all good. Yep. Another thunder spark. And got Shockmaster's ban. Yep. To tell you the truth, I might go ahead and activate Oasis. Just so I can get a creation set up. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and chain. Hmm. Alright, well, I kind of want to summon you, you, to you. I'm summoning, I want to summon an attack this I'll go ahead and take the damage. So. If I can get my float on. kind of want to summon you, just because I like getting you involved with the duel. But I kind of just want to summon Beyond. It has to be an attack, of an attack mode. Because you're going to, of course, attack into me. But I really would love a creation, but that's just a little bit too slow. Yeah, I'll go ahead and summon Beyond. Because next turn, I guess I'll go ahead and black rose him. Like, uh, like a path or creation, one or two. More revival. So we only use one limit reverse and one oasis, so I still got a plenty, plenty amount of cards. I'm going to take that 800. Now I'm summoning in defense mode. And I'm not sure who I want to summon. Oh, I want to summon a Yang Zing monster. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You're summoning someone in defense mode. Because I'm on a Black Rose next turn. Oh, but I can't summon any other monster stuff from the extra deck. Fucking Mass Chameleon effect. Yep, can't supposed to summon any other monsters except from the extra deck during turn active this effect, which of course I am active. Actually, you know what? Ugh! Why did I fucking summon Beyond? Fucking Beyond. Okay, I can't summon. I summon monsters to do anything to indefinite decision except for Beyond, when I would love to summon fucking Beyond right now. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. I misplayed. I misplayed like a fucking son of a bitch. That's fine. I misplayed. I should have summoned something else, let him kill it, then summon beyond a normal summon masculinity, not got the effect, and then pushed. Because now I'm in a black rose, but then I'm not going to get my fucking Bixie effect. Like, yay. Right. And if he stops my effect through, like, some form of Fiendish Chain, I don't even have an additional guard in Like, I, mm, I am just fucking up. I'm literally fucking up. I should have summoned something different than not Bixie. Whew. I am just looking up all over the place. Oh, Black Rose. I don't want to get rid of your monster in your background. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. What the fuck is this? Hmm, okay. So, essentially nothing. I'll set that, and I will pass T. Oh, at least I got this TT. Summoner's Art. You have a level 5 or higher normal monster? What? What could that possibly be? I have no idea. Motherfucking blue eyes. Okay. Okay. Don't know what you're doing with blue eyes in your hunter deck. Where did that come from? I don't know. I don't know the synergy. You're literally just shocking the hell out of me right now. A piece of background of blue eyes. Yes, path. Woo, top decks are made of these. So, I'll go ahead. I want to keep you. I'll definitely put one of you back on top of the deck. One of you. And I want you two in there. And one of you. Then I go ahead and go shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Draw two. 
and get not what I wanted. I kind of wanted the Yangsing monster, <laughs> just so I could start going the offensive. But it's cool. I got revival, and really, that's all that matters. So I'll go ahead and set this call. I don't really feel like setting the Oasis too. I'll just set the call. Just in case shit hits, shit hits the fans. Shit hits the fans. All the plurals. Y'all blue eyes and it's an unknown card in the background. I'm trying to read you like a book, but right now it's kind of difficult. Alright. More revival. I said I like revival. I said I'm definitely going to push up and go for the, on the offensive right. Actually, that's a game, unless his background has something to stop me. Keep on forgetting how low its life points are. So I'm just going to go ahead and summon Sawani. Type for game, unless you have some background to stop me. God, I misplayed this duel. I hella misplayed this duel. So if I win, then it's just thank God that he was just not that good of a under player, to tell you the truth. He kind of misplayed too. The only reason why I won is because he misplayed. I mean, I misplayed. We all misplayed. Alright, people. So, like I said, I might continue trying, attempting to work on Super The only problem is that I. I don't trust the sending to revival ratio at this current moment. You know, I've always wanted to use Norton, but I always knew Norton was broken. But it helps supervise. You know, and if it can help my tier sixty nine deck, then sure, why not? <laughs> so that's not bad. But uh, you know, with the law of chain ban, I you know I'm worried that I'll be a little bit slow with the sending, and I might clog with a whole bunch of you know revival cards, not get enough sending. Um, this tomato is slow, and I don't like it. And you know, straight up, if I could just go. And get an additional send with, you know, Norton shit, then I'd be totally, totally happy with that. With the Waller Train on ban, but with the ban, I'm just not sure if I trust the deck. So, I mean, we can keep on trying it. I might just move this deck back to Thursdays and have Supervised Jack on Fridays like usual, like it used to be before I took Supervised off, because I'm just too worried about the graveyard setup, you know, even in uh, Labradite. So, I think I might make the lineup Archfiend, Labradite, Shadal, Cosmic, Supervised. Because I'm bored of Gradles. Gradles are interesting. So, uh, we'll try it next week. I'm I literally I'm, I'm bored of Gradles, so I'm pretty much gonna take that deck off. I'll give it, give, the, give you the deck profile next Thursday. Put Cosmics back on Thursday, and we'll continue trying Supervise like we did this Tuesday instead of having uh, Labradite on Tuesday. Because I know people like Labradite. I like Labradite. It's fun. Fun. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys back on Vimey Y. Back on Monday with you by our stream. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Thank you.